people i want to do a quick video today because i've had a couple of knuckleheads try to explain to me that how it be rose has no bearing on the supreme law of the land now i'm going to put up the finding from how it be rose because this is going to be a quick video, so hold on. Howlett V. Rose, 496 U.S. 356, 1990. Federal law and Supreme Court cases apply to state court cases. And I've given you three other cases, Duncan v. Louisiana, Addison v. California, Malloy v. Hogan, as federal um, federal statutes that overrode state or county ordinances and statutes and were upheld. And the reason being is because of one simple thing. This glorious thing we call the Constitution and the Supremacy Clause. The Supremacy Clause of the United States Constitution, Article 6, Clause 2, established that the Constitution Federal laws made pursuant to it and treaties made under its authority constitute the supreme law of the land. Every state's constitution are subordinate to federal law. Period. So, don't know how else to say it. How the V. Rose is the annotation for the supremacy clause of the United States Constitution. So, if the supreme law of the land is annotated by Howlett v. Rose, a Supreme Court decision, sounds like the supreme law of the land is the Constitution and federal statutes. So, until next time.